Nearly five days of round the clock investigation, two men have now been charged in the largest mass shooting in America this year. Cornell Beckley and DeAndre Davis are facing murder charges. But the father of one of those men tells Anjanette Levy there is no way his son is involved. Anjanette live outside UC Medical Center with that story. Anjanette. Well, Rob, DeAndre Davis and another person are in critical condition here tonight. The remaining 14 victims were released from the hospital. Davis's father says that his son is sedated, he's unconscious, and he can't speak, but he is scheduled to have surgery in the morning. Tonight, his family says they don't believe he had anything to do with this. Just let everybody know, my son is innocent and he will be proven innocent. Jackie Davis is a father in pain. He says his son, DeAndre Davis, is fighting for his life. He found out at his son's bedside at the hospital that he was being charged with murder. Everybody was just sitting, you know, standing there, sitting around the TV because uh, we figured they made an arrest. And to see my son come up there was it's just mind blowing. Court documents say Davis and Cornell Beckley were in a gun battle inside Cameo nightclub. Police Chief Elliot Isaac says the shooting stemmed from a fight at the club. It escalated into individuals being able to sneak guns inside the bar and shots being fired. Uh, and, and really that's kind of what we know at this point. Chief Isaac says at least three guns, maybe more, were taken into the club. Mayor John Cranley issued a plea to young people who have guns. We've got to figure out a way uh, to get the guns off the street and to teach people not to resolve disputes with guns. While Davis has been in the hospital since Sunday morning, the Fugitive Apprehension Unit tracked down Beckley on Colerain Avenue this afternoon. He was arrested as he left a store. At the hospital, DeAndre Davis's family is standing by him. I know that people are saying, well, you know, this gentleman's been charged with murder, but he's innocent until proven guilty. O'Brien Spikes was the man who was killed in this shooting. Now, police have not said whether or not Spikes was the intended target. And police are saying tonight that the investigation shows that there was more, there were more people involved in this, so more people could soon be charged. This investigation, of course, is far from over. Reporting live at UC Medical Center, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Anjanette, thanks very much. O'Brien Spikes will be laid to rest next Saturday. If you have any more information about this case, please call Crime Stoppers. 352-3040 is the number. And make sure you stay with Local 12 for complete coverage of the Cameo nightclub shooting. You can get all the latest details at local12.com.